Today we're going to assemble a Bridgeport Junior Heritage Bike. Then opening the box, mind your fingers with the staples. Firstly, remove the basket. Now remove the bike. Make sure to go back in the box and get the kit box with the pedals and the tools. Now carefully remove the packaging from your bike. In the parts box you'll find the components to assemble the bike. Multi-tool, spanner, corner manual, pedals and stabilizers. Firstly we're gonna twist the fork so it's facing forward and insert the stem onto the frame. Please note there's a minimum insertion mark and it needs to be below the nut. There's plenty of adjustment for depending the size of the rider. Using a 6mm Allen key, tight the head bolt. To straighten the handlebar, using a 6mm Allen key, loosen the bottom bolt. To fit the front wheel, remove the rubber protector from the axle. Position the front wheel in the fork, making sure the safety washers are in place. With the spanner, secure the axle nuts on both sides. To fit the front mud guard, remove the nut from the brake bolt. Place the mud guard onto the bolt, followed by a washer and the brake nut. Using a crosshead screwdriver, attach the mud guard stay to the fork. Now we're going to put this seat onto the bike. Note there's a minimum insertion mark, they should stay below the clamp. There's plenty of adjustment depending on the child's height. Secure the bolt. Now we're going to fit the right side pedal, indicated by the stick on the pedal and on the arm crank. Spin the axle clockwise. Finger tight and finish off with a spanner. To fit the left pedal, make sure you match the sticker on the pedal to the ground car. Spin the axle anti clockwise to finger tight. Finish off securing with the spanner. To assemble the stabilizers, place the wheel onto the arm, the bolt through the wheel onto the arm, followed by the washer and the nut. 
using a 13 mil spot and now in key secure the bow Now to fit the stabilizers, remove the plastic protector of the axle, remove the nut, the washer, and the mud guard fitting. Place the stabilizer, mud guard fitting, followed by the washer and the nut. Secure the nut with your spanner. Secure the basket to the handlebar using the straps. To finish off, make sure all bolts and nuts are secure and the stem cap is on. Finally, we recommend that ongoing servicing is carried out by a qualified cycle mechanic. <laughs>